M0FXB, welcome to my channel. ATS120D and the ATS25 Max Decoder. As you know, this will receive FTA and show everything on screen, but you can share it to a tablet or mobile phone. So let's show you the setup. First thing you want to do, set your ATS25 or 120D to 7074. You need to connect Wi-Fi. We'll show you that in settings. Connect a USB cable to the back of the ATS25 or the top of the 120. Just, just plug it in here if you're using the ATS120. And on the ATS25, just there, USB connection there. And we've got it in auto antenna. And then, yeah, we've got, we're collecting a long wire. USB-C, BNC antenna to my long wire. On the tablet, we've got one of these adapters, look, USB. And the idea is then I can plug the USB coming from the ATS120 or 25 into here, like so. And that allows me then to have the USB-C connector going into the tablet and then we need to download an app called Serial Bluetooth Terminal. Works fine. Actually, in this video, it's the USB terminal. So Serial USB Terminal. We will try the, the Bluetooth one, because I think we can do that in the ATS120. Uh, so we will give that a go, because this has got the the extra bits that you need in Bluetooth. So, But we don't know that for sure. We will try that. So you install that on your device and that's gonna that's the next step and then once you've installed it plug this in click open while we're at you get the green window and we'll plug it in like so and it's already telling us you know asking us can we use that? I'm going to click yes. Oh, click the wrong one. There you go. Like so. And it has detected the device. I'm going to show you which setting you change in the device to make sure it does detect that. And it's the same setting in the 120. But we'll just quickly tap that and you'll see that if you go to USB, it, see, it, it sees the connection. I'll just go back again, show you that again, just to make sure you saw it. Three flat lines. It's quite hard filming a screen. Three flat lines. USB, sees the device, CH340. You tap it. It's now connected, so the next thing is to get our decoder working. So we'll go to next. set up next keep going next until you're looking for serial to com you need to turn that on it might already be on keep going next there it is there decode data send to com port just go next one more and just remember that you do need to turn on your Wi-Fi for FT8 to work because that's how it tells the time. So when you select here the three lines, it will scan and then you I've chose that now. Now if we go back one, I'll show you that again. See the three flat lines? Select AP, wireless on. At the moment, Bluetooth's off. I will turn it on, actually. Oh, no, it won't let me. Okay, so um, select AP, search. And then just choose the one you want and set. So when you exit, it will ask you to put your password in. It's just your, brow your, you know, your router at home. Save when you exit. Then go to back one mode digi ft8 and as long as you've got a wi-fi connection give it time 
it will start to scroll. And as it scrolls, you'll start to see it all appear on your phone or tablet. And one thing that I was told was you do need the volume up for items to, to start appearing. If you turn the volume too low, it doesn't. So if you watch this, I'll turn the volume down really low. They see all the trail lines stop in the waterfall. If I turn it up, they tell me, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my experience. Looking great, isn't it? So, at the moment, if you look here, you're not seeing the information you want to see. So what you do, go to terminal, with three flat lines. So basically in the corner, tap the three flat lines. Let's do that again. Settings and just change the board rate to one one five two hundred. And just go back and then now it will start to show the proper information. I know it's a bit blurry with these screen screen recordings. In a minute, that whole screen will be full of the data that we like to see. And from a you know, if you need to see it on a large screen, this is this is going to work well. We we'll just pause while it populates. You can see that in the green, you've got the CQ calls. This thing's good, isn't it? If I turn it up louder. I'm going to try, you saw me with the um, Bluetooth version. I'll turn on the Bluetooth and just see if it pairs and see if I can do it. So yeah, it's looking great now. And it's exactly the same process with with the 120D, exactly the same, no different. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best.